answers for past paper questions, ratio analysis. So here I will discuss from 2012 A-level up to 2020 A-level. So we'll start with 2012 A-level. Question number five, A part. Number one, they ask in the quick ratio. Quick ratio equals current asset minus closing stock is to current liabilities. So when you go through your question, your total current asset amount is 750. That is the addition of 300, 450. 750 minus closing stock. Closing stock amount, they have given 300. Ultimately, the value is 450 is to 300. 300 is current liability value. So the ratio is 1.5 is to 1. Number two, invent turnover ratio equals cost of sales over average stock. In this question, they have given cost of sales 2,200. Average stock, we have to calculate opening stock plus per opening stock plus closing stock divided by two. So here under current asset, they have given inventory 300, which is a closing stock. Within bracket, they have given opening stock 500. So 500 plus 300 equals 800 divided by two. Average stock amount is 400. So when you simplify, you get 5.5 times. Number three, return on total assets ratio equals profit for the year plus interest divided by total assets into 100. Profit for the year, they have given 400. Interest, you have to calculate 500,000 is a loan, debenture, into 15%. 500,000 is the debenture value into 15%, you get the interest. 75 divided by total assets. So here the total assets, non-current asset of 1,250 plus current asset of 750. It's 2,000 into 100. The answer is 23.75 percent. Number four, debt equity ratio equals debt capital divided by equity capital into 100. So here the debt capital is only the debenture value, which is 500. Equity capital is the addition of ordinary stated capital of 600 and retained earnings. Multiplied by 100, the answer is 50%. Number five, interest cover ratio equals profit before tax plus interest divided by interest. So here profit for the year, they have given 400 and income tax for the year, they have given 200. So the top amount is called profit before tax. That's 600 plus 75. We already calculate the interest. That interest divided by 75. The answer is nine times. Two thousand thirteen A-level. Question number five, B part. Under that, there are two requirements. Here I have done only the first one. Number one, return on equity. They have given two companies. They are asking you to calculate ratios for both companies. So here, return on equity equals profit for the year divided by equity into 100. So when you take Madhura PLC, 
profit for the year they have given 600000 divided by equity 300 3 million into 100 you get 20% when it comes to sumudu plc the profit they have given 600000 equity 2 million 400000 multiplied by 125%. Second ratio is the interest cover equals profit before tax plus interest divided by interest. When it comes to Madhuraka PLC, profit before tax. In the question, they have given before tax amount 900,000 plus interest 300,000, they have given loan interest included in expenses 300 and 200. So here it's 300 divided by 300. Four times when it comes to Sumudu, same profit before tax is 900,000 plus interest amount is 200,000 divided by 200,000. It's 5.5 times. Inventory turnover equals cost of sales divided by average inventory. So in this question, they have given the cost of sales for Madura PLC, 4 million, divided by average inventory. In the second part, they have given average inventory 1,600, 2.5 times. Sumudu PLC, Cost of sale amount is 5,800,000 divided by average inventory 2,900,000. Answer is two times. Number four, debtors turnover ratio equals credit sales over average debtors. When it comes to Madhura PLC, Credit sales amount 600, 6 million divided by average debtors in the question they have already given it 2,400,000. So the answer is 2.5 times. So with the PLC, credit sales amount 7,500,000. Whereas Average trade debtors they have given 2,500,000 three times. Question number, the last part, debt equity ratio equals debt capital divided by equity capital into 100. Madhura PLC debt capital amount is the long-term loan which is 3.6, 3,600 without zeros. Equity capital, 3,000. So it's 120%. When it comes to Sumudu, long-term loan, they have given 1,800 divided by 2,400 is the equity. Into 100, you get 75%. 75 percent 2014 a level this ratio question they have given it with the cash flow statement so in another video i have uh, done the cash flows so here i'm going to concentrate only the equation part or the ratios so here, question number six, first part. Return on equity ratio equals profit for the year divided by equity capital into 100. When you're looking at your question, they have given you profit for the year 600. Equity capital is the addition of ordinary stated capital and retained earnings. So it's 700 and 7,000 plus 500 all to get the value is 7,500 into 100, 
is 8%. Number two, interest cover equals profit before tax plus interest divided by interest. In the question itself, they have given profit before tax, which is 900 plus interest for the year. This interest, you have to get it from, in the SOFP, they have given 12% bank loan. So the bank loan amount into 12%, that is the interest. 2,500 into 12% is 300. Divided by, again, 300, your interest cover is four times. Number three, current ratio equals current assets is to current liabilities. According to your question, your total current assets, inventory 1,500, trade debtors 4,000, and cash at bank 1,000. The amount is 6,500. Current liability addition, trade creditors, tax payable and interest payable. So the ratio is 2.6 is to one. Number four, debt ratio. Debt ratio equals debt capital divided by total capital into 100. So here the debt capital is the loan amount, which is 2,500. When it comes to the total capital, that is equity capital plus non-current liability. So remember, equity capital is the addition of ordinary plus retained earning. If there's revaluation reserve, you have to add it. The word total capital is total equity capital plus non-current liability value. So that is why the loan amount, you are going to add it back again. Altogether, your total capital is 10,000. So when you simplify, your debt ratio is 25%. Number five, asset turnover ratio equals sales divided by total assets. Sales in the question, they have given 6,250. Total asset, that is property, plant, and equipment plus current asset. Simply non-current asset plus current asset. Now here they have given property, plant, and equipment 6,000. Current asset addition. The double line they have given 12,500. That is the amount. It's 0 0.5 times. Two thousand fifteen A level question number five A part. Under that, there are five equations you have to calculate. Number one is net profit ratio equals net profit divided by sales into hundred. In this question, they have given profit two thousand four hundred. And the total sales they have given 8,000. Into 100, you get 30%. Number two, gross profit ratio equals gross profit divided by sales into 100. To calculate the gross profit, here I have done the working. The total sales amount is 8,000. Deduct cost of sales. So under cost of sales, opening stock, they have given two years. So 2015 opening balances, 2000, sorry, 2014 opening balances, 2015 closing balances. Opening stock 2,200, purchases 3,600, closing stock 1,800, your cost of sales amount is 4,000. 8,000 minus 4,000, gross profit is 4,000. Over 8,000, which is the sales into 100, the ratio is 50%. Number three, 
current ratio equals current asset is to current liabilities. In this sum, your total current asset, that is addition of trade receivables 540, inventory and cash. Altogether, the value is 3000. Current liabilities are trade payables and interest payable. So the ratio is two is to one. Number four, trade receivable turnover ratio equals credit sales over average debtors. Credit sales they have given out of the total sales, 60% is on credit. So 8,000 into 60% is 4,800 divided by average debtors. Opening debtor amount is 420 plus closing divided by two. The answer is 10 times. Number five, inventory residence period equals average stock divided by cost of sales into 360. In this question, they have given, assume the number of working days per year as 360. Average stock, again, opening stock plus closing stock divided by two, which is 2000. Cost of sales, they have, we already calculated from here, 4000. 180 days. Two thousand sixteen A level. Question number seven A part. They have given some ratios to you, and they are asking some values. So here, the first requirement is to calculate the sales amount for the year ending. You can get the sales amount by using the gross profit ratio. So gross profit ratio equals gross profit over sales into 100. They have given the gross profit ratio as 20% equals the gross profit they have given in the question 400,000 divided by X. We have to calculate the sales. Just do the cross multiplication and you will get 2 million as sales. Second one, they're asking average inventory. To get the average inventory, we had to use the inventory turnover ratio. Equals cost of sales divided by average inventory. In the question, they have given inventory turnover ratio is eight times. Cost of sales. Equals sales minus gross profit. So we got the sales amount here, 2 million, minus gross profit is 400,000. Your cost of sale is 1,600,000 divided by X. So you can calculate it. Average inventory amount is 200,000. Number three, total assets. Total assets, you can calculate it by using asset turnover ratio. That is equal sales divided by total assets. Asset turnover ratio is 0 0.5 times. Sales, we got it 2 million divided by X. So your total asset amount is 4 million. Number four, return on equity ratio equals profit for the year divided by equity capital into 100. Now here we can calculate the profit for the year. Profit for the year. Gross profit they have given 400. From that we are deducting the total expenses. Since in this question there's no tax amount, this 240 will be your profit for the year. Divided by equity capital, equity capital
you get the total asset here, 4 million. So total asset minus total liabilities, you get the equity amount. So total asset, 4 million minus total liabilities they have given in the question, 1,600,000. The difference is called equity. Multiplied by 100, answer is 10 times. Last one, equity ratio equals equity capital divided by total assets into 100. Equity capital, we got it here, 2,400. Divided by total assets, 4,000 into 100, 60%. Two thousand seventeen A level, question number five A part. Number one, current ratio equals current asset is to current liability, or you can take the equation like this: current asset divided by current liabilities. So here, current asset amount is five hundred plus eight hundred plus two hundred divided by current liability, only the trade payables amount of 500. It's three. If you take the equation current asset is to current liabilities, the uh, answer will be three is to one. Number two, debtors turnover ratio based on average debtors. Credit sales over average debtors. Here the credit sales amount 6,300, they have said all sales were made on credit basis. Average debtors, we have to take the opening data value plus closing divided by two. So as at 31st, 3, 2017, you got the closing data balance of 800. And additional information number one, they have given the opening data balance is 600. So the amount is 700. The answer is nine times. Number three, return on equity ratio. Profit for the year divided by equity, equity capital into 100. So here in this sum, they have given profit for the year is 1,200. Equity capital, total assets minus total liabilities. So this 4,500, you will get it. The addition of property, plant and equipment, inventory, trade receivables and cash. Minus total liabilities, trade payable amount and bank loan. That is your equity capital. So the answer is 40%. Question number four, interest cover ratio equals profit before tax. Now here in the question, they have given after tax, you have to calculate how much is the before tax plus interest divided by interest. Here I have done the working for that. Profit before tax minus tax, you get the profit for the year. So you know in from the question, profit for the year is 1,200. And they have given tax for the year 600. So your profit before tax amount is 1,800. That is the amount comes here. Plus 300, that is the interest divided by 300. It's seven times. Number five, asset turnover ratio equals sales over total assets. Sales 6,300. Total assets, the addition of property, plant and equipment, inventory, trade receivables and cash. One point four times. Two 
2018 A level paper, question number six. The first part they ask you all to do the statement of cash flows. Second part they are asking ratios from you. So here I'm doing only the second part. Current ratio equals current asset is to current liabilities. Current assets you can get it from the question. That is the addition of inventory. Trade receivables 9,500 and cash and cash equivalent 5,020. And the current liabilities value is creditors 8,600. Provision for income tax 500. Bank OD 2,600. And under additional information number two, they have given an entry related to interest. The accrued interest in this respect was 400,000 and it has been erroneously added to the long-term loan balance as at 31st 3, 2018. So you have to do a correction from the long-term loan. You have to remove that 400 and put it under current liability. So that is why you have to add 400 here. So the answer is two is to one. Number two, quick asset ratio. Current asset minus closing stock is to current liability. So 24,200 is the total current asset. From that, we are deducting the closing stock value. The answer is 14,520 is to 12,100. There's no change in the current liability. The answer is 1.2 is to 1. Number three, return on equity ratio equals profit for the year divided by total equity into 100. In this question, they have given profit for the year. Additional information number one, the profit before tax and after tax. After tax value is profit for the year. So it's 4,500 over total equity. The total equity means addition of ordinary stated capital which is 22,800 Re revaluation reserve 2000 and retained earnings 5200 it's 30000 into 100 15% number 4 debt equity ratio debt capital divided by equity capital into 100 now here remember when it comes to a debt capital that's a loan so we had done a correction inside this 10,500, 400 is the interest payable. So that is why your long-term loan value is 10,500 minus 400. That is 10,100 divided by equity capital. We already got it here. Into 100, it's 33%. Or you get 33.66. 33.67, you can write 34% as well. Number five, interest cover ratio equals profit before tax. In the question, again, they have given it under additional information. Number one, profit before tax, 6,000 plus interest. Roman number two, additional information they have given the total interest expense on long term loan for the year ending was 600. That is the interest. Divided by 600, the answer is 11 times.
2019 A level, question number six, A part. Net profit ratio equals net profit over sales, that is a profit for the year. So here in this question, they have given it 600 over 900,000, 9,000 into 100, it's 6.67%. Number two, Interest cover equals profit before tax plus interest divided by interest. So profit for the year is 600. Income tax is 40. So your profit before tax is 640. Plus interest 80 divided by 80. Answer is nine times. Number three. Return on equity equals profit for the year divided by equity capital into 100. Profit for the year 600. Equity. They have given total ordinary stated capital 4,200. Total assets 8,400. Total assets and retained earning as at 1 4 2018 was 6,600 and 1,200 respectively. So, here to calculate the equity amount, we have to do some workings. When you think of a statement of changes in equity, the retained earning column, the BF amount they have given 1,200, 1,200, and profit for the year they have given 600. Altogether, the balance is 1,800. So did you all get that part clearly? They have said, Total assets and retained earning as at 1 4 2018. So the retained earning opening balance 1200. For this year, profit is 600. Addition is 1800. So when you go to the SOFP, closing total asset they have given 8400. Ordinary stated capital closing balance, they have given 4,800. And the retained earning amount is 1,800. We got it from here. When you add it up, this is your equity value. Ordinary stated capital, they have given in the question 4,200. Retained earning closing balance, we got it now. When you added up these two together, that is the equity value which comes here. So when you simplify, it's 10%. Fourth one, earning per share equals profit for the year divided by number of ordinary shares. So the profit for the year 600 Number of shares they have given within bracket 150,000 shares. So earning per share is 4 rupees. Number 5. Debt equity ratio equals debt capital over equity capital into 100. Equity capital we already got it 6,000. So to calculate the debt capital in the question they have given total assets. Now you got 6,000 as the equity capital. To make it 8,400, the missing figure is the loan value, which is the debt capital. 2,400, the, the answer is 40%. Number six, total assets and retained earning as at 1, 4, 2018 was 6,600. Three companies, and they are asking some questions. Number one, the company which with the highest leverage, that is the beta company. The ratio is debt equity ratio. 
Number two, the company which shows the highest efficiency in the inventory usage, it's alpha. Ratio is inventory turnover ratio. Number three, the company with the highest liquidity, the answer is beta company, beta PLC, because you can use it current ratio or the quick ratio. Number four, the company which generates the highest return on investment, it's gamma, return on asset ratio. Number five, the company which shows the highest efficiency in collecting cash from the customers, it's beta debtors turnover ratio. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please click the like button. Comment on this. Share it at the same time. Subscribe it.